can you differentiate between a document and record i show you some documents and some formats go through the following test and check whether you can differentiate or not and then watch the short video to understand the difference there are 12 examples note your answers you can find the answers at the end of this video Let's understand what is the difference between a document and record. This is the most asked question by the people with this perception that organization needs a lot of documents and records if wants to get ISO standard certification. At the end of this video, I'll show you what documents and records are required by two standards that is ISO 9001 and ISO 22000. So watch this video till end. This is Sharia Ahmed, quality and food safety auditor and trainer. What are documents? Anything which gives you some information either it is in hard form or soft form if it's giving you some information it's a document record is an evidence of any activity performed record is an evidence of any result achieved we will discuss more about it but you need to note that every record is an ultimately a document because it's giving you some information that is the reason why all ISO standards now uses the term documented information both for a document and record. But we still need to understand where to make a document or where to make a record or format. There are three terms you will find attached with documented information. Number one is available, number two is maintain or number three is retain. If you find available and maintain the documented information, it means you have to make a document. And if you find a term retained with documented information, it means you have to make a record of this activity. Let's take some examples. ISO 9001 has a term, has used a term documented information in 25 places. It means you must need to make 25 documents or records if all 25 requirements are applicable to your scope. ISO 22000 has used a term documented information in 42 places. It means you must need to make 42 documents or records if all 42 requirements are applicable to your scope. We will see the list of documents and records in last. But here another question is, do we need only these documents and records for ISO 9001 or ISO 22000 certification or compliance? The answer is no. There are These are the minimum requirements of documents and required which each industry has to develop. However, Exclusion of requirements may reduce the extent of documentation or records requirements. Other documents are risk based. Actually standard has two requirements for documents records in clause 7.5.1. Number one is document information required by the standard and number two is document information necessary for effectiveness of quality management system or food safety management system. We already had the discussion on point one that is mandatory 25 documents and records in QMS and 42 mandatory documents called in food safety management system. Whereas point two reflects the risk based documentation that is make all documents that are necessary for the effective implementation of your organization. It includes different SOPs, work instructions, job descriptions, organization charts, flow charts, policies and plan. So this point too will vary from company to company. Small organizations have less number of such documentation. Big organizations have large number of such documentation. Risk depends on complexity of product or process, past history and records, number of employees, product nature, environmental factors, competency of employees and etc. You can see now the list of documents and records required by ISO 9001 and ISO 22000. Now you can match your answers from the correct answers now. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you.